So yeah. let's dive into it. What is the correlation between grip strength and health? Yeah, so they've done uh, research and it says that if they followed patients over a four year span, that they have seen correlation between grip strength and certain types of conditions like cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, strokes, and even memory and cognition. And wow. so if you have a weakened grip strength compared to age and gender comparisons, that they think you won't have as positive of a health outcome. So you talked about some of those diagnoses. Is there yes. anything else on that list that people should be thinking yeah. of? Yeah, well, typically what we will see more often than not in the therapy world is we'll see patients following strokes, tendonitis, mm -hmm. like tennis elbow, maybe some nerve-related symptoms like carpal tunnel, fractures, hand arthritis, all that kind of stuff. Okay. And you brought some tools in here. Yes. So how do we measure grip strength? Yeah, so if you see a hand therapist, they'll have something called a dynamometer. Okay. And what it does is it will measure how many pounds of force you can squeeze. Wow. Okay. So we need at least 30 to 35 pounds to be functional in our day-to-day okay. -day activities, opening doors, jars, buttoning your shirt, all that kind of stuff. So okay. do one of you Should we test? want to test? Go for it, you go first. Okay. I'm a little nervous, okay. I'm heated today, okay. so I might be What a do I do here? You're gonna squeeze those two handles as hard as Just you can. Just with one hand? Yep, and okay. it's gonna feel like you're squeezing it. Oh my gosh. Rock. Ooh, look good. at that, look at that. Is that good or not, because my that, hand's slipping? No, that was really the good. The lotion, I blame the lotion. You were shaking a little bit there, shake it a little bit there. That was very strong. Okay, good. Very strong. Oh, good to know. So that was awesome. <laughs> Um, and then there's lots of different ways we can work on grip strength and therapy. Mm -hmm. So if you have some hand weakness, come see a hand therapist. But some things we can kind of talk about here. This is called a gyro ball. And it is going to, um, you wind up this ball in here. And it's going to use centripetal force Ooh. to give your um, hand some resistance. So mm. when you let it go, you can wind it up ah. here. If you get it sped up, it can get going really, really quick. And you really only do this for just a few minutes and it's gonna overall strengthen your, your whole arm here. Okay. Wow. Good for wrist tendonitis, carpal tunnel, all that kind of stuff. All right, so. and, and, and you gotta tell me about this. Yeah. Because so many parents <laughs> have this right here at their house. I know. Yes, yes. You probably have it at your it's house, right? It's similar, play <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Theraputty um, comes in a variety of resistances. Uh, we can use Theraputty to work on just full grip, mm. which is really great. Um, some other ways of strengthening, if you open it, and kind of tie it around all your fingers. You can open up and strengthen extensors Ooh. the opposite Ooh. way, which wow. is great. And another good way to strengthen is kind of squeezing the putty between each finger, Ooh. which is okay. gonna strengthen yeah. really small muscle groups in your hand. You can pinch it. Is this something can anybody pinch? should be doing or just if you think you have an issue with your grip strength? I think it's important if someone, anybody can do it. I okay. feel like just knowing the statistics and the research that you should stay up on, on good grip strength okay. in general. Important.